Good afternoon again from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Um, remember I told you a story once about Harry Roberts, right? Uh, I was in Coldenley with him in 91, around about that time. Obviously he was much older, around, around about time, but still very, very, very fit man. Uh, somebody asked me a few times to uh, tell a couple of stories about Harry. Now, I told you the story, didn't I, about him in a fight uh, with Wally Black, uh, where he went in the cell. I was expecting to have to go in with him, but he went in and done him, right? I told you that story, I think. But one afternoon, I sat in a cell with him, and Harry Roberts told me that Late, uh, late 60s, early 70s, if I'm right, and I believe him, him and Reggie Cray had a fight, right? They had a trade, a punch up. Harry put him on the floor, he let him get back up. Reggie hit him, he put Harry on the floor. Harry got back up. They exchanged punches. It ended with Reggie on the bed, Harry on top of him, holding him by his shirt. Now, I didn't see this because <laughs> I was a baby at the time. But I'll tell you why I believed Harry. I'll tell you why. Because he told me once uh, that Paul Sykes put him on the floor. And he was a man, I believe, when he says something, wrong, right, win, lose, he'll tell you exactly how it went. Remember that. And it's funny how I know somebody very... Very, very close, young, very young, 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 obviously, must be family uh, related. Uh, not many people talk about that. It's strange that, because it is a story that is talked about. And Harry says he nicked it, nicked it, all right? So that was the story about that, about Harry Roberts. Uh, I told you about the Wally Black one. I don't think I need to go back into that one again. I'm going to come back up in a minute, but... Um, Big respect as well, uh, boxing inquirer. I keep telling you about him, the big man. Uh, been playing much, playing many, many parts in parts of my channel uh, over the coming months as well. Uh, but remember, no one's ever so I haven't heard no one ever talk about that. None of you lot out there, Reggie Craze, Harry Roberts. You lot they talk about the Craze and the this the, the Richardsons and all that kind of stuff. But you never mentioned Harry didn't really see them the way that everybody else saw them. It started, the fight, they were doing a course, a weights course together, right? And he was doing more reps, because they're both fit, fit and strong. But Harry was stronger, if you get what I mean. So that's how it started. And I think Harry won, they, you know, you get them courses in prison where you do them together. And I think Reggie was feeling a bit funny and I think that's what led to the fight. So Uncle Yami says he believes it. He believes it because when Harry says he loses, he loses. When he says he wins, he wins. I'm coming up in a minute to talk about somebody else. 